Hello everyone and welcome back to Morgan Farms and thank you for joining me for another vlog here on our little plot of land that we call our own and as you can see the leaves they be a changing it is the middle of October here on the farm and uh, I was really hoping that our soybeans would be ready to harvest N uh, not yet so it looks like it could be another month looks like we're looking at November before these things are ready but uh, I have decided that uh, we are going to be planting wheat and if we need to plant wheat well we need to get a move on because it's almost out of season to plant so what we're gonna do today is we're gonna be doing some plowing I'm actually gonna change the field up a little bit too gonna make it a little bigger and that way we can plant just just a little bit more but you know even a percentage more is still better than you know what we currently have so now my chickens my little chicken pen here they're doing pretty good if I do say so myself we have uh, have 30 chickens I don't remember buying 30 chickens but we have 30 chickens somehow or another we were looking at about 260 eggs this is taking a lot longer to fill up than what I expected I thought we would have a lot more eggs by now but uh, we don't so we're gonna have to hold off a little bit longer before we can sell our eggs luckily like I said we do have the soybeans coming out and uh, we we have been doing some contracts getting a little bit of money from that uh, that's been helping out quite a bit up to about 32,000 currently uh, but yeah all right so let, without further ado let's go ahead and get started today we're gonna do some plowing and fixing our little plot of land over here all right so today once again we're going to be using our Mazzy Ferguson 398 which is a very very nice little tractor here it starts up like a dream pretty nice and uh, I've got our little plow over here that we're gonna grab so let's go ahead and get that all right so as I said there at the beginning we we're going to try to make our field just slightly larger um, we lost a little bit of uh, area when we put the chickens down so we're gonna try to recover some of that and get a little bit extra so the first thing we're gonna do is just gonna mark out um, the area that we're gonna do here I'm just gonna go around the plot of land and mark it out with our plow here now I would say we're probably getting about maybe 10% extra uh, farm space here, but I really don't think we're getting that much. So uh, let's take it to about here, lift up our plow, and we're going to back up here a little bit, and we're going to go up that way with it here, all the way up here to the tree line, and then we're going to turn our tractor around here a little bit, and just get positioned so we can mark it the back around to the beginning here. All right, not bad. Okay, now we've got it kind of outlined. Let's go ahead and plow the rest of the field here. All right, so we are just about done with this field's plowing, and it has occurred to me, as I'm getting ready to finish up, that uh, when I bought all my farming equipment, I forgot to buy a seeder. We have no way to plant the seeds. So it looks like a trip down to Clever Motors is going to be in order as soon as we finish here. All right, so now we are on the final pass of plowing this field. Everything uh, it didn't take too long not as long as I expected. I I do hate the plow plowing is like the one thing I, I hate doing it just takes forever and there's no decent sized plows Especially none that I can actually afford right now But you know what we got it everything is good and done and you know what this field looks pretty good a little bit larger now once we uh, harvest our soybeans over here on the other side I'm probably gonna do the same thing over there make this just a slightly long you know bigger field over there as well we do have some stones in the field and I, I currently have no way to get rid of the stones so I could lease something but considering how much we got out of our last harvest I don't think it's really worth it right now at the moment all right, so we are done with the plow for the moment. Let's go ahead and store it back over here in front of our little barn area here. There we go. And of course, the day is never finished here on the farm. Let's make that trip down to Clever Motors and see what we can find as far as a cedar goes. All right, so we are here at Clever Motors taking a look at the cedars that they've got in stock. And, uh, you know, I mean, there's, there's some decent ones. Some of these brand new ones are quite nice. Uh, but a little pricey for me. So it looks like what we're gonna end up going with is probably this Amazon D9 4000 down here. Uh, the D9 3000 isn't, isn't too bad as well. So maybe I can take a look into that one. Let's just take a look here. Hmm. 
you know the D9 3000 at a cheaper price is probably going to be the way to go. I've considered the D9 4000, but uh, yeah, I, I think this one's a good one. 600 liters, but we can up that with an extension to 1,000 liters. Uh, we don't need trend line markers. Um, let's go ahead and add that handrail on there. Now, as far as harrows, we have a couple different ones we could go with. We could go with a roller harrow, or we go with a tine. And I kind of think I want to go with a tine, to be honest. And I don't really need a ridge marker, so... You know what? Let's see. A thousand liters, 1.3 tons, 70 horsepower required for it. We, I think we've got that. Um, three meters, but I mean, my farm is kind of small anyway. Nine miles an hour total, that's, that'd be fine. For 13.9, out the door. You know what? I think that's a deal. We're gonna go ahead and buy this baby. And of course, we're gonna need some seeds as well, so I'm gonna go ahead and buy a big bag of seeds too. Now, unfortunately, my truck wouldn't carry the cedar home, uh, so I had to go back, grab my tractor, and then bring it back on the tractor. But we made it, we got it all done. All right, so like I said, what we're gonna do is probably plant some wheat. That way we can actually save some of the wheat to feed our chickens. If we wanted to buy that, we can just use what we actually have. All right, so we've got our field plowed. We've got our cedar. I've got everything in position here. Let's go ahead and start seeding our new field. You know, this is what's great about a small field is it doesn't actually take very long to do, but of course, being a small field, we're not going to get that great of a harvest out of it. Alright, there we have it. Our field is now seeded with wheat. And uh, hopefully we get a good harvest in like a year. <laughs> uh, but, still, we got it done. Uh, I only wish that we could have gotten the soybeans done too. That way we could have been planting both of these fields at the same time. Now I have to figure out what we're going to plant after we get done harvesting our soybeans. Because the... Uh, the wheat's going to be out of season, so there's that. Alright, so now it's time to pull out our huge sprayer here, and we're going to fertilize our wheat. Uh, let's see, I think. Is this going to be too long? Oh, maybe. No, actually, that's per just about perfect right there. Fantastic. Alright, so let's go ahead and start spraying down our field here. This is most likely only going to take like two passes. One this way and then one the other way. We will be completely done with that. Alright, so that's it for our spraying of the field. We got all of that done. Ended up taking about two and a quarter passes due to my lack of ability to uh, back that thing up. Uh, yeah, I, I'm, I had a little bit of trouble with the, with the sprayer and trying to get it just in the position I needed it. So, just took me a little bit longer, but not that much. So we're just going to go ahead and take our sprayer right up here by the barn done with it for now and good way to just kind of get it out of the way here and just park it right there all right so we are pretty much just done with this field at the moment there's not much else we can do um, we do have some stones in the field but I don't have a roller to get rid of them uh, also our field needs some lime again I don't have the ability to do that so we'll just have to do what we can for now until we get the equipment and tools that we need later on to be able to perfect our farming skills all right, so now we are officially in fall. It is the beginning of November. Look at these beautiful orange trees. These, I, I love the look of fall. It is my favorite time of the year. I absolutely love this. Just colors everywhere. Anyway, if it's fall, that means it's time for fall harvest. Yep, our soybeans are finally ready to go. So let's hop into our harvester and get these puppies loaded up. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do is just kind of cut a swath kind of right up through there. That way we can have a place to turn around. There we go. Man, I really need a new harvester. Oh my god, this thing is so slow. I feel like it's going to break down on me at any time. Oh yeah, I definitely think one of the first things we're going to have to invest in is a new harvester. As soon as we can get some money. All right, we are on the last pass here of getting our soybeans, and, and I gotta tell you what, we we have got to get 
another harvester before next harvest season. This this has taken forever at literally no more than three, four miles an hour at tops. Most of it is around two miles an hour, especially since the way this field is shaped and if we encounter any kind of a hill, like what we're on now, we, we, we drop a lot of speed. But we got it. All right, so the next step is unloading our soybeans into our trailer, which uh, I think we can do that fairly easy. Yep, our good old handy Dodge truck is always going to be there for us. Let's see how much we have here. About 19%. 1,590. Mm. Well, not a lot, but not horrible either. All right, so it looks like the uh, Feed and Grain South actually has the best prices right now. We could take it to Johnson's Farmer's Market, uh, but that would only be 609 per thousand. Yeah, so <laughs> we, we might get about $1,000 off of this load. But sure, you know what? $1,000 is $1,000. Feed and Grain South it is. All right, so here we are at the Feed and Grain South location. And uh, I'm just going to go over here. I was told to park it over here and then load over top of this right here. All right, so 1,590 liters of soybeans ended up getting us about $994. So, you know, I'm... I'm beginning to think that maybe this farming thing might not be the best for as far as making money. Maybe I'm just growing the wrong things. Or maybe I just need a bigger field. Alright guys, so that's going to conclude our video here today on Morgan Farms. It's been an interesting couple of months here. Uh, we're, we're not making much off of our farm itself. But, you know, you never know. Things could turn around. In the meantime, we kind of have to probably resort to doing more contracts. And that way we can get more supplies. And, and hopefully we can end up buying some more land soon. And hopefully more than later. But anyway, that's going to do it from here. Wherever you are in the world, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. I will see you in the next video.